Hello all YouTubers, I am the Weather Dude. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for tuning back into this weather presentation for August 12, 2019. As always, please don't forget to subscribe, as well as liking and sharing this video, and ringing the bell notifications to never miss one of my videos again. I did, my last video was on a, my first 2019 winter forecast. I will leave a link to that video in the description, but if you want to, you can just go right through my channel and watch it if you want to, but also I will provide it in the description for you. And please look in the description for other videos of mine, with superior weather content they won't find anywhere else. And consider watching the video because it, today's gonna be a very important video and it's gonna be about the severe weather threat for the Midwest and Mid-Atlantic. I'm getting more focused on the Mid-Atlantic, however. So first, I mean, there are sadly some people that don't stay for the whole video. I know, it's terrible. So I'm gonna show my forecast first, because I know there are probably a lot of people can see that better and they can see it more. So, without further ado, here is my, this will be my forecast or overview of what could potentially happen tonight with severe weather in the Mid-Atlantic. Okay, so thank goodness no, nothing looks like it's blurred out by the camera, but the title is Severe Weather Risk for Mid-Atlantic Tomorrow. That's all it really says. So, first one, Tornado Condition in Index, or TORCON, if you're familiar with it, is a 4. That means, so if you times that by 10, that is your percentage that you will see a tornado or two within the 50 mile radius of any given point in the mid-Atlantic. So that's a 40% chance of that. Our next one is our heavy rain threat. So it's going to be high, two to four inches with isolated totals of maybe five or six, although five probably being the most common isolated total that we could potentially see, and all occurring in a very short period of time. That's the key, very short period of time and due to training of thunderstorms as well. So, so the thunderstorms don't literally train in the gym. What they actually do is when it says training, it means that they sit over the same areas for longer periods of time. Convective outlook. You might see the picture for that. Yes, that is actually the convective outlook. That's not just a random picture. That is the actual outlook that I actually, that I actually took from the Storm Prediction Center and that I'll be showing you that later on in the video. And I just kind of pasted it in here as like a little picture background for it. So areas that are three. And this is coming right from my area, that's why I'm really, you know, kind of nervous, but I'm excited to track it as well. So, convective outlook 3, enhanced, includes southeast Pennsylvania, all of Delaware, central and southern New Jersey, central and eastern Maryland, eastern West Virginia, and northern Virginia. And 2 is the slight region, which is not as great of a chance of severe weather, but still keep a lookout. We got Smoky Mountains. And if you don't know, Smoky Mountains is the basically borders eastern Tennessee and western North Carolina, like right there. That's the Smoky Mountains. As well as maybe the Appalachian Mountains as well. Uh, central West Virginia, eastern Tennessee, southwestern Pennsylvania, eastern Kentucky, southern Virginia, Chincoteague Island, and Assateague Island. So that's basically like the Delmarva, like right around there. That's where they are. Alright, so damaging wind threat is medium high, which means damaging wind gusts could potentially potentially exceed 65 miles per hour, and hail threat as our last one here. And that is a lower medium chance, and hail could get as large as 0.5 inches in diameter, or maybe even a little bit bigger. Although hail doesn't seem to be the main threat with this. I think it's going to be like damaging winds, tornadoes, and rain will be the main threats with this, but still, got to keep our eye out. So for today, the slight and enhanced risk are the areas that I usually watch the most. Like, if you're under a slight or an enhanced, that's when you just really start paying attention. But even if you're a marginal, be on the lookout. But slight, so the yellow and orange, slight enhanced, or anything above that, which is moderate and high, red and pink colors here. Those are the two ones that are higher. But any, anyway, yellow, orange, red, or pink, you really need to watch out for some severe weather. Especially the red and the pink, those are like the two worst ones. But this is, the, um, you can see this across from central Iowa all the way down through western Ohio. It's a slight region and then enhanced for central Illinois, central Illinois, tongue twister, say that 10 times fast, uh, around Peoria, Illinois, and Indianapolis, Indiana as well. So let's read off some of the regions. Actually, Indianapolis is in a slight risk, okay? Maybe the enhanced is just west of them. But Springfield, Peoria, Illinois, Davenport, Indiana, Decatur, Illinois, and Champaign, Illinois. Okay, maybe I said that right, maybe I didn't. Uh, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, Iowa, Illinois, Dayton, Ohio, and Naperville, Illinois are all on slight risk, and then marginal Chicago, Columbus, Wichita, St. Louis, and Louisville, Kentucky. So a lot of the big cities, luckily, are in uh, um, marginal risk, which is a not-as-great chance. And you can see, look at this, 23 million people 
are in marginal risk. And then 10 million in slight, 3 million in enhanced. So if you add those all together, we have over probably like over 37 million people that are under their gun for severe weather across the United States today. So really, you know, makes you worry, but it's okay. Hopefully, you know, the severe weather will dodge your area, but it's all dependent on the atmospheric conditions in the atm in, up in the atmosphere and how the all the weather conditions interact. So, with that being said, for tomorrow, slight risk goes from New York City all the way back to Nashville, Tennessee. But in, in there, they just added that enhanced risk, right, from my area. Oh, but let's just, let's just say sometimes we can use a little bit of rain. The ground kind of dries up kind of fast over here. But... Let's see, tomorrow we got over like almost 90 million people in the threat of severe weather across the United States. And about more than 50 million people being in the worst threat for severe weather across the United States tomorrow. Uh, Philly, Baltimore, D.C., Arlington, Virginia, Alexandria, Virginia, all in that enhanced risk. Then New York, Nashville, uh, Newark, New Jersey, Jersey, or Jersey City, New Jersey, Yonkers, New York are in a slight marginal as, as Dallas. Columbus, Memphis, Fort Worth, and Virginia Beach, Virginia. And now the excessive rainfall. That is a slight risk. And that goes from, that's usually a little bit north from where the severe weather threat is. So it's kind of like a pattern. Do you ever notice? To the south, okay, so let, let me explain this out real quick. So to the south, like, in, that's, that's where we have the extreme heat, right? We got all the severe weather out in here, and then the heavy rain threat's like all the way up in here. So heat dome is usually to the south, like the southernmost part. Then the rainfall threat is in the northernmost part, and then the severe weather squashed right in the middle. So that's why. You got the, you know, cold air coming from the north, heat dome coming from the south, and they collide. And that's where your severe weather region is. It looks very messy. But yes, the slate race goes from about Boston, Massachusetts, pretty much all of Pennsylvania down through Nashville and back up again. So that's where your best threat for excessive rainfall is for tomorrow. Here it is. So this is another map from the Weather Prediction Center. And where you see these reds and yellows overlapping, that means heavy rain, flash flooding, and severe weather. Right in those areas where the reds and yellows overlap. So you got to watch out for that. And lastly, we're going to go through the NAM 3KM model real quick. We do have a couple minutes left. So here we go. And the timestamp is blocked. Oh, come on. All right. So this is Tuesday afternoon. And let's see, right here. Yes, yeah, so this is about Tuesday afternoon after about 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. And you can start to see, so actually that is 2 o'clock because it's 24 hours from 18Z. So this is 2 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday. And you can see a lot of storms starting to come through already, which is actually kind of early. And then they push through. This is 3 o'clock, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then you have around that comes through overnight in the early Wednesday morning. And then all set and done. And when it is all set and done, we could potentially have a lot of rain. A lot of rainfall totals, but not only that, but also tornado threats as well. So here it is, right near my area. Come on, man. Uh, two to four plus, right there. Southeastern Pennsylvania, northern Delaware, as well as parts of central and eastern New Jersey, and south central Pennsylvania as well. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please share this with your friends. I know my severe weather videos typically don't get that many views. So I would appreciate it if you guys liked and shared this video with your friends. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I am DeWeatherDude, signing off. Till next time.